move this a bit closer so you can see my ugly mug. There we go. <laughs> right then. Um, we're, we're at the oh, keyboard. Need the keyboard. USB lead, get off. I've been messing around with USB leads. Not that you need to know. Uh, this will be the actual second part because um, this will be a second part because um, this is two parts, obviously. Cause, oh, that was it. The, vi the video was really short and shite. But. So, yes, someone did say to me, and rightly so, I said, oh, I'm going to wait today to record these and then watch them so I can look at some of the comments and then didn't and I'm not going to do that anymore because I keep on forgetting <laughs> but yes you're very right very true um, we're here I love these bits this is this is where oh, wow, this is let's modify the factory fender this is just the fir first real creative fabrication you are bang on right I love these videos these once we once we've dealt with this uh, next owner's problem, the NOP series, um, I am actually going to stop uh, doing these uh, as free well just frequently. Um, these have been a fill in for covering while I do other stuff. A lot of it not related to the channel. Blah 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 blah, and. Um, all I will cover pretty much is the really ridiculous hot water coolant kind of videos. They will cover them. And we'll also cover fabrication videos just full stop. So when he starts actually fabricating stuff like this, we'll cover them. Because oh, they're just gold. They're just gold. So here we go. I'm well excited. Right, good morning. Welcome back. Now, I've ordered my final and permanent set of handlebars that are going to stay on the bike. They've shipped them on their way. They should be here by the end of the week. So, oh, stop straight away. I don't know why. Why? You, you, you put these on ages ago. And we always knew he was going to go with these. There was no... It's a, it's a load of false drama bollocks. Because there's no way he was ever not going... There's no way he was going to put that headlight on, put this, put that on and go, no, I've actually changed my mind. He never does stuff like that. It's like this black bike was always going to be black. Right, it's just... It's... The place of not being able to sign that off today... Yeah, so the whole point is, is that... The point I'm going to make is that why not buy the, the order the handlebars? I think he already has. I think it's absolute nonsense. I'm going to do something creative instead. Now, I've been looking forward to this part because at this point... So have we. So have we. Everything on the project has been refurbishment and restoration. Is it? It's covering... It's putting paint on things that are half finished. And I've really enjoyed that so far. But for a break from that, and for something a little bit creative, I'm going to attack the front mudguard. But rather than talk all about it, I'm going to fit it on the bike, show you what it looks like now, and let's see how we can improve it, make it look a bit better. Right, so... We're going to play his game. We're going to play his game where we try and emulate what he's trying to do. Oh, we do not need to see it. Fill in the video out. We've seen the screws. Look at... The, oh, that's... <laughs> what have you done to it? You must strip the paint off it. You've scarred it. Wait, there, they got nuts on the back. Oh. Right, leave it. It's it's an old looking sixties looking bike. Just leave it. Now, if he's going to start saying, I'm, I'm going to guess what he's going to start saying, there's too much of a gap. But the fact is, there's a reason why there's a gap there, because they're not what tyres you're going to put on. And there's no reason for it to be really close, apart from, you could say, aesthetics, but uh, when you're riding it, it's fuck. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, it's, too, it's too archaic, it's too... 
high. It's too old-fashioned. So we'll see if we repair that. Clear and obvious problem, I think you'll agree. That mudguard's far too high above the tyre. It's normally an inch and a half as standard, and I think that's too much anyway. But I've made it worse with a low-profile tyre. So now it's two inches, and I've got to do something about it. Now, I want about one inch of clearance. That's for debris to clear through safely. You don't want to make it too close. And the easiest way to achieve that is to cut and shut the bracket that holds it. But the bracket in question here is not just a mudguard mount. It's also the fork brace, so it needs to be strong. No, it's so not. You're lying. No, it's not. It's not at all. Not at all. It's on the two moving portions of the forks, you dickhead. So, no, it's not. Rather than just cut it, lob out some metal and butt weld it, that would be making it weaker. What I'm going to do instead is cut it and drop the excess metal down the inside and then plug weld it and seam weld it round to make it stronger. So today the aim is to snug my mudguard down onto the tyre and at the same time strengthen up the fork brace as Where well. Where did you get that shit from? It's not a fork brace at all. What are you talking about? It's not a fork brace. Do you know what braces the forks? It's that bottom yoke up there and the fucking axle. <laughs> what an idiot. Look at that skinny piece of shit. That's doing nothing, you mug. People ride things with no mud guards on. Are they all over the road? Fucking hell. There we go. Pristine Del Bollocks. Pristine nonsense. I missed that bit. Pristine just bollocks. And it's shots like this that made me laugh, right? So I want to walk over the bench and film this bit. And then I'm just going to spin it around like I'm inspecting something. Down. Spin. Look up. Oh. Now, your lines are already on there. No, is this the, the the shit editing or something? You can see you put pen marks on there. And then you're going to pen mark it again. I don't know. I don't know. You'd also want to use the holes as a datum, really, but whatever. You get a thinner pen. <laughs> and we at least I'll tell you what, at least the vice is getting work. Oh my god. Number one is Bombay Bad Boys, they sort the men out from the boys. If you think that's hot, you're a boy. Um number two <laughs> Dude, eat better. Fucking pot noodles. Jesus. Oh, do you know what? He is literally the antichrist. He's my nemesis. I fucking hate custard creams. I've said so before. The fucking... Ugh. basically saying it's flat. Del, on your screen, just imagine this is your screen for your for your camera. We've got the same camera. That was totally accidental. Because um, I bought it and didn't know what camera he had. There's a button that says AFMF. Click it. Helping you out, dude. Oh, not this shit again. This is actually really good because it's really thick. So this is going to show you how well doing this works. Especially on aluminium plates. <laughs> what have we got here? Kilograms of centimetre. Bit of a weird one. Open the release valve slowly. Oh, it's a ton. There we go. Let's say, wait, what's the other one? Year of manufacture 2020. Don't overdo it. Now, it's a bit of a lie here. Because it might say 15 tonnes, 
but if you look at this, it, the whole thing's bending. Actually, it's not bending, but it, a lot of things, there's a lot of give in there. The pressure is 15 tons, but exactly how that's distributed is meh. A lot of that force will be bending that instead of actually squashing it. It's just a thing to consider. It, it doesn't matter. Just, just nerding out. Just shush, shush, shut up, complaining. That flattened it perfectly. Oh, look, look at the kink. It's all right for... Well, what he's doing is shite anyway. And surely... Oh, so it, it goes against the shock and then it kicks in like that towards the wheel. So if he straightens that out, then he can slip the other bit down the back of it. Right, I see. This is the thing, though. Like, he should be telling us this, not fucking trying to work it out what he's doing. stainless fasteners on that surely I'm surprised that he's going to do it in a minute but I'm surprised he hasn't put the his air hose that you know you get a bit of fucking garden hose pipe and you tape it to your wheel to act as a spacer I'm surprised he hasn't done that yet So basically, now you have to have a low profile tyre, otherwise, you're going to hit it. Which is whatever. Well, no, you see, this now, this is the, this is a bad thing. If you've cut it you sh you, like an idiot, you bloody shaved it, but really what you should do is you should just cut that, and then what you should do is then just put it back together through measurement putting it on clipping it on and then just drawing lines unless you're going to use again measurement to define where you are is not the best way to do it because that you can't you can't tell if that's crooked or not and then you take it off and you weld it and you you look at it and you go fuck me that's five millimeters long that leg's five millimeters longer than that one. Oh no and then when you step right back and go fuck me i can now i've seen it i can see it You could do that as long as you verify it with measurements and you haven't, you shouldn't machine the edges. You just shouldn't do that. Uh, you shouldn't grind the edges because you're going to lose some of what your original cut line was. It all depends on how accurate your cut is as well, obviously. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Oh, come on, let's it again. Plug weld it. That's not what I said he was going to do. Alright. Oh, we get to see some awesome weld action. This is the thing, right? Here's the thing for you. You see how he did that? He put the mudguard on the bike with the things, the tabs. He bolted everything together and goes, right, that's it. Clamped it together. Why don't you just undo the bolts and take the whole thing with you? If you'd clamped it all up, then you wouldn't have to fuck around with anything. You don't have to re-line everything up, draw silly lines on it. Oh, he's drilling holes. Yeah, sorry, no, he's drilling holes. Well, this whole thing's a bit daft. You don't have to plug weld it and then seam weld it. Just fucking weld it.
like just doing a seam weld across that and that, like a butt weld, turn it over and doing the inside. That's easily enough. What are you fucking having plug welds for? <laughs> the vice is holding the welder. It's basically another fucking pipe. It's loving it. Oh, it disappeared. It's like the doctor. Oh my god, Dell, are you test fitting something? I can't believe they got nuts on. <laughs> Dude, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do that again. Hey, see how much that, do you see how much that moved? Right, let's just go back. Oh, let's go back. See how much the whole mud guy moves? Yeah, that's not a fucking brace. Shut up. <laughs> not like that, ain't. There it is. 25.3 mil. Absolute inch. I've got one inch slammed out of that How bracket. How did you measure that? 25.3 mil. Absolute How inch. How on both sides? I've got one inch slammed out of that bracket there, and it looks lovely and snug down on the tyre now. Absolutely I wanted. Put a finger up inside there. There's a good inch of clearance in there for debris to get out of the way and that's not going to cause any problems and it looks oh, fantastic oh your debris is like smaller than an inch yeah it's fine but what it has done unfortunately is it has exposed the very slight difference in the radius of the mudguard and the radius curve oh, of yeah, the new looks stupid as fuck <laughs> new low profile <laughs> tire that's a little bit tighter and it doesn't look perfect it doesn't look like it fits exactly well, and i want it didn't because they made this a meter in radius and they made the tire this it to I'm so, so glad he's noticed it. it looks stupid i can't just bend it by hand it's a double axis curve is on my guard double axis curve you mean a compound curve why has my quality gone shit stop being shit it's a compound curve though and if you just oh, try and bend it going out of focus it will kink out of the sides you need to take little slices out of it to give it some space to curve and then curve it just a two or three at a time until it's absolutely the well, right curvature would english wheel it or Chinese wheel it. And then weld them all up. Drill the rivets out. Have a go. Grind them all back, along with the welder up on the bracket, and hopefully I'll have a completely bespoke mudguard for the front. So that's rolled over. I, I don't know enough about metal curling, but that is a rolled over edge. So could you still get in there and just roll it a bit? I don't know. I don't know enough. Okay, no, that's not a fly. That's a fucking Apache. Fucking hell. Forster. Please say you're going to do all. How many passes did you make? Oh. Oh. Wave it. No, no, is he going to do a. I, pro I promise you this is not pointless. <laughs> uh, Who's forward though? He's a hero. <sighs> Beautiful. You're better off just doing like they do on these stupid crazy panda videos though, and just tack, 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 tack. It'd be a lot smarter. Fork brace. I'll give him credit where credit's due. His grinder's really tight. I love that when you do that, when you have a really tight lead. <laughs> oh, here's the thing, right? If you have this problem, because some of them are fucking... It's usually when you buy shit cheap grinders from Sealy, but if you do have this problem... Take the back off, right, the, over here. It's either a split clamshell or the back just comes off. A lot of times it's just the back comes off. Disconnect the wires. Get yourself a longer lead, right, plug it in and blah, blah, blah. And just you, A lot of the time you just read the wire or you get the instructions or go online and find exactly what model your grinder is and look up the instructions and the instructions will tell you somewhere what wire it is or whatever or you can just look online. You get or just go a bit overboard and get a bigger wire than you need. But whatever. Get 
you know, a, a really an extension lead. If you've got an old extension lead that you know it's a bit fucked or whatever or something like, that. I don't mean like a house. You could probably could use one, but I mean more like a, a wind up, you know, um, outside outdoor kind of you know garagey type extension lead. You got an old one of them. You can push, you know. I think it's like a lot of them. You know, you get the ones where they're like this, the windy ones that are like 10, 20 metres. You can get one of them. And if you don't want 10, 20 metres, but you've got like a 15 metre one, get as much as of it as you want, chop it down to what length you want, maybe four or five metres, just say. And then what you do is just wire that in, and that's usually good enough, because they can usually take something like fucking um, three kilowatts or something, usually like 3.8 kilowatts or something like that, which the grinder's not going to do, so you'll be... You'll be safe and above you know what i mean and don't do this because this is stupid because you can literally snatch the grinder out your hands <laughs> or it just makes it difficult it just makes it not that is this this table's on wheels <laughs> but let's not mention that um, i will give him one bit of credit after slacking the fuck out of him is at least he's put this in the vice i've seen him so many times holding it like this and but i don't understand what he's doing with his other hand That wire's mighty tight. Oh, he's just the thing is as well is right is that you've made a you've made a butt weld right. So you basically you've got a step, and then you've filled this in at the step. Do, why have you done this? Are you making a bloody accessibility ramp or something? It's, just flatten it down. It's not. Oh, this is on the outside, isn't it? Yeah. Well. If you've done a nice pretty well, you wouldn't really have to touch it, but whatever. Oh, I'm going to have to do some videos on grinding. I'm going to have to. Because that looks like shit. It looks like shit, Del. No, it looks, look at this. It looks like shit. <laughs> oh, it's as bad as this. <laughs> look at the crap in there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. I can't wait to read the comments. I bet that. Oh, it's fucking awesome, Dale. Your craftsmanship is mind blowing. <laughs> Please say he's going to sort into bits. Oh, he is. This just gets better. What are you doing? It probably needs. This is the thing, right? It, with his English wheel. You look it up, right? Just say if, if I wanted to curve something that's like this and curve it more, but it is a compound curve, right? If it was just metal, you'd just bend it over your fucking knee or, some, or over someone's back. Get your little minion and just <laughs> fucking bend it around the back. Or jam it in the door and, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, but it's a compound curve. There must be videos on how to make a fender. A, a, a bumper, fender a mudguard, whatever. There must be videos on YouTube. I promise you there is. And there'll be some guy saying, if we go the length of the mudguard, that stretches it. If you have the big wheel on top, that stretches it this way or positively or negatively. And then if you go across it, it shrinks the... You get what I mean? I don't know. I haven't done anything like this. Um, English, wheel, ugh, English Chinese wheel malarkey. But there must be someone just telling you the basics. So then what you do is, surely you just stick this into the wheel and just go backwards and forwards that way or this way or whichever way you should go. And jobs are good. One. You only have to pull it in, surely, just a bit everywhere. That He's got one. Surely this is what it's for, isn't it? Well, me. This is just dumb. That's it. I'm, I'm glad you measured it. Dude, tape. You get fucking... You get some masking tape. You get some masking tape and you go there and you go round and go there-ish. You know what I mean? Fuck me. Or get a bit of string or something. Or a bit of masking tape. Mark, there, there, there. Then just flip it to the other side and just go there, there, there from this edge or something. Fucking straight and fold your own lines, you bell end. Fold it in the vice, and you'd have to hold it in your hand. 
their depth. He's done not too, done too bad with depth actually, but. He does not like his lines, does he? You could even get a square. Wow, wow. <laughs> Probably because left handed. But you see, when you fold it in like that, it's going to flatten the top. When you pinch it, it's going to flatten the top. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, crap, we both. Fuck off. Oh, well... You see, what you should have done, Del, is you should measure from here. It's called a chord. It's a line from one point to another that is basically tangential. So you just touch on there, you touch on there, and you measure the chord. And then you could measure the chord there, and you'd be all good. You could just draw it on your bench. You see, let me just make this clear. This will or could work right just for that slight little change although i should have done the middle as well i don't know why i didn't do the middle because now you can have a, like a flat spot and then a um this could work if you know what you're doing but and surely you're gonna spot surely you're gonna just, just spot weld this like you would in a panel on a door you wouldn't just fucking what seam weld this because the heat will just start the fuck out of it. No, 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 no. That's a lot of heat in one area. <laughs> oh, excellent. So, front to back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That'd be the yeah, idea. And then one, two, back to where you started again. Let it cool down. Oh no. It's so hot, it's setting on fire. Uh, and we know what Del's grinding's like. Uh, I can't really see. He's checking so little out of it. He might get away with it. Oh, why, why are you pushing, though? <laughs> this, this, you got to remember, we're never going to see this properly until later on when he forgets. Why are you pushing? Pushing's not good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh more heat. Just what we need. Look, you've got two hands. Get, get your handle out, for fuck's sake. The whole point of the handle is it, you've got a flat disc spinning, right? And it just it stops that torque, right? Because that's the way the motor goes, right? So it gives you more control, and that's why it's, you're like this. It just gives you, it just helps you hold it flat, and you can just go over and just tickle it. With stuff like this, sheet metal especially, you just want to gradually take the head off and just slowly go and then as soon as you start touching the sides like he has done there oh that's me done i'm getting really close now these are beautiful there we go let me get a good look at it oh, oh that's too busy fucking rubbing the dust off that Horrid. Dude, don't start touching the grinder where you haven't welded. Oh, a noise. Oh, just go back. Go back. So, if you have a curved surface, you grind with the curve. Don't go. So, if you've got a curved surface, you grind like this constant motion. You do not. 
Well, you can see, you do not go like this, and this, and this. Because if you got that, all you're doing is creating loads of facets, all right? No. Like what he's doing there, right? He's doing it there. So, good boy. Yeah. You, this is why you need fluid, and you give it this, all right? This is why when you're this close, you don't use a fucking grind. You get a DA out and you get a, a orbital and go over it. And this back of the fold shit. Oh, you can see the line. This. Oh. Go with the curve. Why? What, oh, is this, what's that? See that actually? Well, yeah, you see, it's high in the middle because you didn't cut the middle. That's beautiful. I hope all the rest of this looks like this. Let's see if he measures it this time because what's the gap here to what's the gap here? Is it the same? Oh, no, look. So you can use the tyre. So you can see the gap there on the tyre. It's a bit tighter there. It gets wider. Cool. That I wouldn't moan too much about that. This... Oh, no. Then we're getting close here. We, all of a sudden takes a nosedive there. Uh, and you can almost see a flat. I can see a flat. That's curved, curved, curved. But there I can see a flat. And then it's curved. And then you can't see there. Ah, uh, no. Do that again. Maybe we get a better look. I, I can't... Yeah. Sorry, I'm... Just... So, parallax is a bit of a prop. Well, not parallax, but... It looks a bit wider there. It, it, you can see that it's definitely wider there than it is there. It brings it down. And the same thing there, you look at this, it's, it's really tight here compared to there. I can't remember what it looked like originally. But it's such a massive gap, in it? Right, there we are, lowered by an inch and reprofiled to fit the radius of the it new tyre. You can see it go tight, I can see it, especially there, fuck me. The ends have come in too much. Because what you should have done, your bell end, is you should have cut the middle for one, that would have helped. Cut the middle. Bring it in slightly, tack it, because it will pivot on those two bits, maybe, we'll see. Maybe you can leave the middle, but you should do one, tack, do one, tack, do one, tack, and then look at the whole thing. You could even wrap a bit of fucking string around there with like a, you know, with a, a pen and just go like that and sweep the arc and go, oh no, we're getting, we're getting a bit further away there. You could even go a bit further and write it on the mudguard with a pencil or on a, oh, a pencil, a fucking felt tip with a bit, his marker pen with a bit of string, maybe. Um, but yeah, you, you it, it's not the worst thing he's done. It's shitty. The welds on the the the, 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 the braces. <laughs> you know, when you're modifying things, you can make crazy wild stuff that's really interesting and different. But other times, making something modified look factory, well, that's a holy grail. No well, one thinks that looks factory. All by itself. I'll see you next time. He is delusional. Look at that fucking spot in there, you twat. That's not factory, is it, you fucking bell end? Jesus Christ. Number two is, as well, is if this is like this, I would, if this is, this, I'd grind all that shit out and then weld that flush and then fucking sand, you know, blend it in so this disappears. Why would you want that? Why would you want these massive giant fuck off rivets if you're going to do this? You know, you're never going to take it apart. So get rid of it. Factory, fucking factory again. Delusional. Fucking delusional. Oh, I want to see how flat it is, actually. Yeah, I can see a kink there. I can see there and there. You can still see the kinks. There, there and there. I can see where you put... If I can see where you've done your welds, if you paint that black or polish that up, you're going to see it. You are going to see them. I can see that one. It's 
a bit lopsided. It's a bit heavy on this side, a bit skinny. Pull drawn in on there and a bit wide on that side. There we go, we've got before and after. Right. We're going to do the science thing. We're going to before and after it. Come on, Lord, you bastard. Expa oh, no, 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 undo that. Paste again. Expand canvas size. Right, cool. No, I don't want to update. Why would I want to update, you fuck? Oh, hang about, did I take a picture of it small? Right, for some reason the camera died then. <laughs> uh, let's just refresh. We've got 24 comments and hopefully some more juicy comments for us to see. Um, beautiful and 100% agree. For me, the most rewarding I've ever felt after doing something to one of my bikes was the first person out of 50 that would stop look puzzled for a bit and then say something like, hey, I didn't think these came with that option, kind of comment. Tell us always your insight and depth of... Insight? He hasn't told you anything. And depth of your ideas just never fails to astound. Modify to look factory, now that is the holy grail. Oh my god. Boy, oh boy, if I didn't see you do it, I wouldn't have believed that this was the same mud gap. <laughs> uh, that cutting and reducing the radius and then welding it back together was absolutely brilliant. Oh, my God. It's a, it looks 100% better. Eh, it's a matter of opinion. I don't really care, to be quite honest. Some people, it's, again, tyre choice. Uh, lowering the profile turned out really well and finishing piece looks perfect. That, my friend, took some serious skill. I love how you promote creativity, tool skill, and workshop ethics by cleaning up after yourself. It's his fucking workshop. And putting the tools back where they go. That's it's his workshop. I'm a little OCD in some ways. I like the place tied in equipment ready for use next time I reach for it. Plus, it shows respect for the investment too. But they give you half of it. <laughs> Uh, great video, Dell. Any plans to bob the front mud guard? I've seen a few to make vertical lines from the front wheel axis, another mark where it meets the fender, then from the axle run 45 degrees towards the engine mark and the fender. Obviously, this is aesthetics over function due to the amount of material removed. Looking really cool. Good job getting toward the end now. Blah, blah, blah. It's just it's excellent. I, you see, this is the thing, right? Unless you're like me, an asshole who gets meticulous about this stuff. Um, I could see why people go, ah, oh, you know, sorry. Especially if you don't know any of it. You're like, oh, yeah. You set out to do exactly what you should do. This is one of those subtle touches that makes custom work so special. And I don't say that. Custom work isn't so special. I've seen some custom stuff that's fucking horrible. To take the stock look and modify it to look what stock should have been that you don't understand what the word stock means you fucking retard uh, is one of my f uh, is one of my favourite touches interesting modifications incredible uh, quality looks great if I click my fingers and expect a biscuit I think I know what would happen great video as always what a difference I had to go into the garage and look at my 2008 Dino low rider stop mud guard to see how it looks to your modified one. I think mine should be lowered half an inch. You see, the thing is, Bill, is you didn't care or didn't notice. Now every time I look at its profile, it's going to bug me. Actually, if you, if all you want is half an inch, you can sometimes slot the holes that it's mounted to, and it'll drop a little bit. Just use a round file and make sure you open them out equally. <laughs> really? Fucking hell, the wisdom. Just upwards and not front to back. That would be funny, wouldn't it, Del? Or downwards, that'd be even funnier. Remember to to take the tea and custard creams in. God, fucking custard creams. Would it be a good idea to install an oil cooler? Why? I think they'll get fucking hot. An oil cooler isn't really necessary in our climate, but of course in the hotter weather. What's the difference that makes? Dell, 
Spot on, mate. But what happened to the custard creams? Factory finish. <laughs> yes. This has to be a comedy channel. Video radio. Buggy with a suitcase. Living in a disco. Oh, my God. No fucking pot noodles. Pot noodles and custard creams. Too right. Oh, my God. I hope that makes sense. I am happier that we're getting here. That was just... It was a warm up. It was a warm up because it's it's very simple. It didn't seem to do the best job of it, but whatever. It, 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 there's little bits that are improvements. I don't know what the rosette weld was for on the plug welds, but whatever. I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.